Hello, I'm Alana Wills, and you're watching Mediaplex Live at One. Yesterday, Belgium experienced a terror attack. Mike Hugel shares his comments. Usually this segment on Mediaplex News Now is safe for a minute about a topic pertaining to the world of health, sports, or pop culture, but I'm going to change it up a bit. Let's talk about reality, the reality that is going on in our world this week. As most of you know, yet another tragedy has struck Europe, this time in the form of multiple nail bombs. And as it turns my stomach to say this, the death toll has risen into the 30s, with hundreds of others injured and fortunate to have survived this terror attack, which ISIS was quick to claim. It's truly disturbing to think about. And at times like these, when many people take to social media to hashtag pray for something, I started to think, how much longer can we pray until it's the same prayer over and over again? By definition, we are praying ourselves insane. While on the topic of social media, I have to talk about what I hate the most. It's not the hate being spread by radical groups like ISIS, but from the Western world who think these despicable acts carried out by jihadi extremists are an accurate interpretation of the Muslim faith. Stop Islam was trending on Twitter, a cowardly thing to type and a form of hypocritism for many people who turn to religion for answers. When we go back in history, we must remember three notorious groups for prejudice and hate, the Nazis, KKK, and the IRA, all worshippers of the Bible and the work of God. By bringing this point up, I'm not trying to exploit a religion's history, but I hope many who are uneducated on the topic will reflect and see that the work of extremists certainly don't reflect the teachings of peace. And my time is up. I hope all can reflect and remember terrorism has no religion. And for those coming into North America to find that prosperity and freedom, I say peace be with you and Asa Lam Alaikums. Let's bring change about. Reporter Ashley Ann Mentley is a world traveler who tells us about her trip to Mount Etna in Sicily. Sicily, in Italy, is an area often known for pizza, cannolis, and the mafia. What the island often isn't recognized for, however, is having Europe's tallest active volcano. The coastline boasts sandy beaches and beautiful blue waters, but not far inland and nearly 11,000 feet above sea level is Mount Etna. The volcano, often referred to as a she, sits right on the border of the African and the Eurasian tectonic plates and is almost always in a state of constant activity. She erupted most recently just in December of 2015. While Mount Etna isn't always covered in snow, this March she's seen quite a bit of snowfall. The black lava stone can still be seen though, because it hasn't cooled yet. It's still warm enough to melt the snow and warm the hands of people who choose to travel up that high. That's because the stone takes up to 20 years to fully cool. In 2013, Mount Etna was added to the UNESCO World Heritage List for being of natural importance. Since then, construction is no longer permitted on the mountain, and it's easy to see why. Back at ocean level, between the cities of Messina and Catania, there's a booming agriculture industry. This is thanks to the minerals found in the soil carried down the mountain over years of volcanic eruptions. For Mediaplex News, I'm Ashley Ann Mentley. The OPP is holding a seatbelt blitz over the upcoming Easter weekend. Mark Brown has the story. People find all kinds of things to do when they're behind the wheel of a car. Eat, smoke, yell at the kids. But one thing local law enforcement is expecting everybody to do this Easter weekend, buckle up. With a four-day weekend upon us, the Ontario Provincial Police will conduct a seatbelt blitz to ensure compliance with Ontario seatbelt law. The OPP is practicing zero tolerance as people hit the highways. And zero tolerance means that police can stop you just for not wearing a seatbelt. So make sure you buckle up. For Mediaplex News, I'm Mark Brown. And now let's take a look at our weather. Today we can expect it to be cloudy and rainy with a high of 7. Overnight is looking like light rain with a high of 4. Tomorrow is going to be bringing us more rain with a high of 12. Are you interested to find out what we do here at the Mediaplex? Then join us for our open house on Saturday, April 2nd from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Here you can meet students and faculty, tour our campuses, confirm your registration, and win prizes. We hope to see you there. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Alana Wills, and you've been watching Mediaplex Live at One.